Hello fellow Sudokans, welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Thursday the 27th of November 2025, I hope you are keeping well, uh, living life to the fullest. Bad news, terrible news coming from Hong Kong, uh, where a fire is still going. I don't know that it's actually out yet, although it's said to have been coming under control. Um, at least 44 people have died in this tower block inferno um and at the time of uh, reporting this so it's 44 reported dead and 45 in critical condition so that's obviously the chance that more people will die uh massive uh it's a tower block uh, it's a complex made of eight 31 story towers and houses around about 4,800 people, so, you know, it's huge. Um, the cause of the fire, not exactly sure about how it's supposed to have started, but, <coughs> excuse me, but uh, seemingly the spread of the fire is from the bamboo that's used for the scaffolding. I guess they were doing some repairs or renovations or maybe building it or something. Um <coughs> Bamboo uh, is something that is widely used across Asia as scaffolding material. It actually makes really good scaffolding material because it's very strong, very light. Uh, but of course, the possibility of fire is not something uh, that ha is uh, to be taken lightly. And I must admit, I hadn't really considered it before. Um, but I've always seen bamboo as being a good kind of uh, scaffolding material, natural material, and kind of abundant as well. Uh, but I think that may be um, reconsidered now after this uh, event. I guess we'll have to see. I'm not sure if um, <coughs> it can be treated to become flame retardant or something like that. Maybe. I would suspect so. Not something I know enough about, really. But um, anyway, that is uh, horrible news coming in from Hong Kong there. And let's hope uh, nobody else uh, dies. Uh, all right, let's get on with the game of Sudoku, shall we? This is our Guardian's um, hard-level puzzle. First, it's Thursday. It's the first hard-level level puzzle of the week. I'm going to start with digit one because that's the beginning point. We've got ones blocking this one, blocking those two squares, this one blocking that square. And so we'll get a one over there. Uh, and then we'll move on to digit two because we've got a couple of twos blocking these squares in this column. The remaining digits here are three and six, but I can't see how to get those just yet. Five blocks up here, up here and across there. That'll give us a digit five in that square. Four blocks this square, this square and this square here. And uh, nothing else is really hitting me. So let's go through in order and see if there are any more easy numbers before we have to start putting our thinking caps on properly. OK, 
Okay, we get ones in those squares. Here we go with fives across the top and a five up here. So we've got a pair of five and six blocking across here, five and six blocking across there, so that means that, that must be five and six. Um, what else do we know? Uh, we got ones there. And that's about it. Don't know what else I know. Okay, well, I haven't spotted any more easy numbers, but let's uh, start looking at what we've got and see if I can come up with something. Okay, we've got 1 and 7 blocking this square here, right? That means 1 and 7 must be in those squares there. This is the other number. The other number is 6. <clears throat> six blocks this square. We need a 6 in this column. There's the 6. The last number down here is 3. Okay, missing numbers in this row are 4, 7, and 9. 4 and 9 are in the same column. That will give us a 7 there. Ah, good. I can get a 7 here. So 7, bear with me, this is going to be a long walk around. You might need a walking stick to assist you here. 
7 must appear in one of these two squares, so we go back in this direction. 7 blocks across there. 7 is in one of our missing square, empty squares down here, so that will block up here. So eventually we find out that that's a 7 there. Now our 1 is in one of these empty squares here blocking up and 1 blocks across there. That will give us a 1 in that square. And then 1 blocking up here and 1 in one of these empty squares blocking up will give us the 1 there. And the missing number here is 3, I think. 3 blocks across here, 3 blocks up there. That is our 3. four blocks across here and across back that way there's our four four blocks up here four blocks across there eight stops this square from being an eight so eight must be there and nine is the last number we need to complete the column nine blocks across here here's our nine this will be a two two blocks this way two blocks up here there's a two and two goes to the top room at the top there we go two across here two across there there's a two for two across here and there that's the end of the twos and now we've finished this column with an elegant eight I don't know why it's elegant, just shaped in that way. Eight blocks across there, there's an eight, and this would be a seven. Seven blocks up here and across there and there, giving us seven in that square. And we've done a substantial amount of this puzzle already, I think. Uh, two is our first completed digit. Let's see, we've got one blocking up here, one across there, that'll give us a one in that square, and tell us that this has to be a three whether it wants to or not i think we'll click on the numbers now and see what's still to be done There's a six missing in this column here. Eight blocks up here that gives us an eight in that square. I keep thinking there's still likely to be another easy number somewhere. But I could be wrong. Uh, 
Oh, I was hoping there would be another easy number somewhere, and I haven't seen it. So I've got to study what's left. Bear with me. I see it now. Okay, we don't have nine in this column yet. We've got nine blocking there, we've got nine blocking there. So that must be a nine, and then we can say nine across here, across there, and there is our nine, and then we have six and nine blocking up there. Or just actually just the nine blocking up there is okay, so nine in that square, and then the six blocking up there will give us six there, six across there, there's a six, there's a three, three back that way, there's a three, there is an eight. And the last number over here is 3, and the last number down there is 9. Uh, over here we need a 4, I think. Okay, and we've also got 4 blocking. Oops. 4 blocking across there and down there. There's 4. Last number to get there is 1. 1 back that way. There's 1. This is 7. 7 across here. 7 down there. There's a 7. Uh, what's left here? Five, eight. So eight across there. There's the eight. There's a five. Five blocking across here. Here's a five. Five blocks up there. There's a five. Six goes here. Six goes there. That's our guardian hard level puzzle. Pause for thought there just at the end. Uh, just to look around. Uh, so not completely easy all the way through. Just a little bit of thought needed at the end there. Thanks for joining me. I'll be back with Trickier Sudoku later in the day. Take care. Bye bye.